How we doing everyone? Today I'm going to be doing a noise cancellation test between OBS, which is a video capture and display capture system used a lot by gamers, and Crisp, which is a standalone noise cancellation app that works with any of the video conferencing services that you may want to use. So I'm going to use a variety of noises, some common, some maybe less common, and see which one comes out on top. So the first thing I should say before we really get into it is that OBS makes your computer work really, really hard. Um, so my fan is already on and you will probably hear a difference just with that uh, when we start using the noise cancellation. Okay guys, so the next one I'm going to do, uh, I figure a lot of people are still probably doing some Zoom happy hours and the like, um, so we are going to make a cocktail. Um, so this is what it sounds like with no noise suppression, shaking it up, and now I will turn the OBS filters on, um, which actually takes a few steps to do this, which is kind of annoying. Um, but now that is turned on, so we will go again, so shaking it up. Um, as you can see, um, I'm leaking a little bit. Um, so, you know, maybe you are uh, also a bartender and you're just trying to increase your online presence and you're trying to explain how to make a drink and uh, need to be able to have your audience hear you over the sound of the shaker. All right, so that is with OBS. Now I'm going to turn uh, Crisp on. In fact, I will actually start shaking it first and then turn Crisp on. So this is without Crisp turned on, and now Crisp is turned on, and hopefully you can hear the difference. And we've got this now nice and shook up. So we will, if I can open it. Ah! All right, maybe we won't actually have it. It was just ice and water anyway. Um, oh, there we go. All right. Got it. Again, this is just ice and water. Um, but just in case you don't believe me, I will not drink any of this on camera. All right, guys, so the next one I'm going to do is definitely really common, uh, and that is typing. Um, obviously, during a, a, a conference call, you might be taking notes um, or just need to be doing something, and maybe you're like a really forceful typer and you type really, really loud and you're aggressive, and that's what it sounds like. All right, so now I'm going to turn the OBS on. And again, it takes multiple steps. Okay, OBS is turned on. So now, um, there we go. So now typing again with OBS's filter on, and um, again, not typing anything in particular. In fact, it is complete gibberish. Um, and now, lastly, I'm going to get that turned off. Okay. And now, uh, again, going to start typing with no noise suppression. And now I'm going to turn crisp on. So crisp is on. And here we go again. So typing away. Um, I wish you guys could see what this is. It's just complete nonsense. Um, but that is uh, for your typing test. Uh, again, I feel like it's a very, very common one for people that are on calls um, that need to take notes. All right, guys, so the last one I'm going to do is some music. Um, if you're in a particularly boring conference call and you're struggling to stay awake in that afternoon lull, you know, having some music on can make a huge difference. So uh, I'm going to play um, some music and some classic Tom Petty. I feel like it's a good summer song. So this is, uh, this is with no noise suppression on at all. And I'm just going to let the song play as I turn the different noises on. So now I'm going to turn OBS on. All right, OBS is turned on. And um, yeah, I think this is a great summer song. Uh, like one of the all-time great singer-songwriter rock stars, Tom Petty. Um, and one of my favorite songs. So there we go. All right, so we got the music still playing. And now I'm going to turn Chris on. Um, and there we go. All right, Chris just turned on, and music is still playing. Just so in case you can see it, you can see the uh, time going by. Um, and yeah, again, for me, this is something that yeah, you know, I, I definitely need to keep my energy up and uh, 
Sometimes coffee doesn't cut it. You need a little music pick-me-up, as it were. Just in case you wanted to hear a little bit more. All right, guys, so that will do it for this noise cancellation test. Um, hopefully it was pretty clear which one performed better, but let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always during these times, please stay safe, stay healthy, and take care of one another. Thanks so much for watching.